All right, welcome back everyone. For the entire month of October, we're gonna be learning about the importance of integrity. And integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Have you ever had trouble hiding something from someone? Maybe you did something that you weren't supposed to do and you had to hide it from either your parents or from your teacher. Now, I remember when I was younger, I was at the grocery store with my mom and I saw a pack of gum that I really wanted to buy, but I wasn't able to because I had no money. So do you wanna know what I did? I stole the pack of gum and no one found out. Not even one. I did a great job of hiding the truth. Now let's be completely honest. Some of us have done some things that we're not proud of. And some of us, we've done some things that go directly against God's commands. And when we realize what we have done, the natural response for us to do is to hide it and to not let anyone know. We're really good at hiding our mistakes, our failures, and our sin. And we are really good at hiding it. But here's the thing. Trying to hide our sin and our mistakes from God is impossible because God sees everything. And so even though we might be good at hiding our sins from other people, God sees it all. Wait, so God sees everything? Yep, that's right. So he knows when I cheated on my homework? Mm-hmm. Wait, so he also knows when I lied to my parents? Definitely. So he also knows when I steal a pack of gum from the supermarket? Yep, he knows about that too. So you better return it. So he knows when I pick my nose when I eat my boogers? Well, yeah, uh, but that's not a sin. That's just gross. Wait, did you say something? Don't worry about it. All I'm saying is that we can't hide anything from God. So what should I do? Okay, so uh, check this out. In 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 to 9, it says this. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us all our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Did you catch that? I mean, that is some good news for you and for me. There is nothing that we could hide from God, but God is willing to forgive every single thing that we have done everything. So how do we know this? Well, 2,000 years ago, God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to this world to die on the cross for you and for me. So when we confess our sins before Jesus, and when we follow Jesus, we are made clean and pure, and we are made righteous before God. Every hurtful action, every careless thought, every unkind word is forgiven in Jesus Christ. And the reason why we are is because Jesus, He is faithful and just, and He will purify us from all unrighteousness. So uh, what does this mean for you and for me? Well, it means that we don't have to be ashamed and we don't have to hide our sin from God. God doesn't want perfect people because there's no such thing as a perfect person. But God for sure wants honest people. He wants people of integrity. So again, we don't have to hide our sin from God. If we confess it and if we're real and honest with God, He will forgive us of our sin and all of our unrighteousness. And I don't know about you, but that's pretty amazing. And so if there's anything that you remember, here is our bottom line, and it is this. Being truthful to God keeps you close to Him. And so yeah, with that said, Pastor Tim out. Did you just see what happened? I just fell into a bunch of boxes and this box has an X on it. So I guess this makes it an X box. Anyways, I think I know what happened. I forgot to wash my hands, which is why I landed here. Remember, always wash your hands so you know you don't fall into boxes like I did, okay? All right, and with that said, Pastor Tim out. Ah, oh, no.